Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome to Sing with Susie. My name is Susie Shelton. This is my stepdaughter, Julia. And there's our dog, Penny, asleep in the windowsill, as usual. We are here to celebrate the holidays with you. And we have such... Oh, <laughs> and Julia brought a special little hamster friend That's for us today. A reindeer. Oh, it's a little reindeer hamster. Small hamster. Oh, let's show it up close to our friends. <gasps> It's our little reindeer friend who's here with us today to help celebrate the holidays, but that's not actually our special guest. Our special guest is here all the way from Auckland, New Zealand, and it's our friend Claudia Robin Gunn, and she's going to be here in just a few minutes. She's a regular on Sing With Susie. She's been here many times before to share her beautiful music with us, and every time she's on the show, we have so much fun together, and today... She's going to be showing us a brand new music video that was just released or that will be released today, Happy Place, that you'll be able to see at the end of the show today. So I can't wait to share that with you as well. And also, I see some other friends are here watching. So go ahead and type in your child's name so that we know who's here so that we can give you a shout out. Sing with Susie is being viewed and listened to in over 70 countries around the globe. And we'd love to know where you're watching. On Sing with Susie, we celebrate diversity from all backgrounds and abilities, and everyone is welcome here. So I see that we have some friends already watching, so let's go ahead and give some shout outs. We have Augustus is watching from Georgia. Hi, Augustus. We have Framma is watching. My mom is watching. Can you say hi to Framma? Hi, Framma. <laughs> And Ivan is here. Hi, Ivan and Amber. Nice to see you. Our friend Arnold is here watching from cloudy Chicago. And Cindy is there. Hello, Cindy. We have Joanne and Claire watching from Ireland, getting all Christmassy now, just like us. And we have Jack watching with cats Hudson and Lily. Oh my gosh, your cats are watching, maybe because of Penny too, in Brooklyn. Hello, Jack and Nicole. And Framma says, hi, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we also have Sophia watching from Minnesota, and she said your hair is very pretty, Julia. Thank you. Yes, she has some green tips that she's had since Halloween, and I said that was pretty good it's that she, ago. yeah, like a month ago. It's pretty good that she chose that color because it's perfect for this Christmassy season too. If you celebrate Christmas, so we're going to be singing some holiday songs with you today, and then we'll be chatting with Claudia Robin Gunn, and then at the end of the show will be debuting her beautiful music video, Happy Place, featuring some adorable little penguins. So are you switching up your hat if you want? Julia couldn't decide if she wanted to wear an elf's hat or a Santa cap. So <laughs> I think she's going with this one first. But should we sing our first song? Oh, we also have Taylor watching from Dallas. And he says, hi, Julia. I'm happy to see you. And he also loves your hair. Oh, great. All right. Do you want to go ahead and put our first prop right here on the mic stand. And what is this, Julia? Frosty. Frosty the snowman. We couldn't bring the actual one. We couldn't bring the actual one. It's a little bit too warm inside. And also, it did snow a little bit last night. But we just couldn't get – we just didn't get to see it because it I, snowed in the middle of the night. I have my mini Frosty, but it fell on my ear. That's okay. But for this song, if you have a shaker at home – you can get it ready, and we're only going to shake in the thumpity thump parts, right, Julia? And can you grab me my ukulele? Thank you so much. My big baritone ukulele is pretty heavy. We're just going to go right here. We're going to go ahead and warm up our voices and warm up our Frosty the Snowmen <laughs> or snow people. And Julia is turning into an elf. I knew this would happen. I, do, I knew this would happen. All right, friends at home. Here we go. Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy soul With a corncob pipe and a button nose And two eyes made out of coal Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale they say he was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. For when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Oh, Frosty, 
The snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Shaker, shaker. Somebody, thump, thump, somebody, thump, thump. Let's look at Frosty Cole. Somebody, thump, thump, somebody, thump, thump. Over the fields of snow. Oh, Frosty the snowman knew the sun was hot that day. So we said, let's run and we'll have some fun now before I melt away. Down to the village with a broomstick in his hand. Running here and there all around the square saying, catch me if you can. He led them down the streets of town right to a traffic cop. But he only paused a moment when he heard him holler, Stop! Oh, Frosty the snowman had to hurry on his way. But he waved goodbye, saying, Don't you cry, I'll be back again someday. Shaker, shaker, somebody, thump, thump, somebody, thump, thump, look at Frosty. Somebody thump, thump, somebody thump, thump over the fields of snow. Somebody thump, thump, somebody thump, thump, look at Frosty Cool. Somebody thump, thump, somebody thump, thump over the fields of snow. And thank you, friends, for singing at home. Oh, wait a second. Look who's watching. It's Cousin Nick. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. Oh, it's so great. And also, Framma says, yay. We got some. Yeah, you're Cousin Nick. You can say hi. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> and Frosty's going to go ahead and take a little seat over here so that he can watch the rest of the show. Guess what is coming up next? All the way from New Zealand, our friend Claudia Robin Gunn returns to the Sing With Susie stage to share with us an original holiday song. And at the end of the show, we're going to debut a beautiful music video called Happy Place, which is all about spending time in nature. So without further ado, I think Julia is switching up from turning into an elf to just being herself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring in Claudia Robin Gunn. Hi, Claudia. Hello. So happy to be here. We're so happy you're here all the way from New Zealand. Can you tell our audience what time is it where you are? Sure. It's 10 past 10 in the morning on Tuesday. Wow. One day so, ahead. Yeah. Hello from tomorrow. Everybody. Hello from tomorrow. Thank you for being on the show again. It's so great to see your beautiful smiling face. I'm so happy to hear your gorgeous song. Julia, you are great at that one. I loved it. And especially how you like switched up the hats in between. Ah, it's all about cute. the costume and the little reindeer. I love it. It was so good. You have something dangling from your guitar, we see. I do. I thought, well, I wanted to play for you guys in front of our Christmas tree. Um, but I, I didn't want to unhook all my sound gear. So I thought I'd stay here in my music room and bring a little piece from the tree <laughs> to Aww. send some Christmassiness to your end of town. We love it. We love it. So let's talk a little bit about all of the amazing things you've been doing. And you have a new video that we're going to be debuting today about nature. Tell us a little bit about Happy yeah. Place. Oh, awesome. So um, Happy Place is, well, first of all, full disclosure, nature is definitely my happy place. Um, whenever I kind of need a little bit of calm or I even need some inspiration for a song, I just go for a walk and I go find like the local reserve near my house or down by the beach and just kind of like the sounds and the sights of nature really inspire me. And um, this song is kind of all about all the different places that we might be able to go and find um, connection 
like out of doors. And tell us a little bit about the different artists that you worked with for this video as well. Well, so this artist is a really beautiful friend who um, has made a bunch of videos with me. So we've kind of got a long standing collaboration. Um, her name's Kitty Wade, and she is a beautiful illustrator and artist. Um, and she and I have been making these little videos following a family of penguins for maybe a year now. Um, and so it's really exciting to kind of like see these little characters go on new adventures. Um, and I'm really happy to sort of see um, see what she, what they all get up to this time. And so we like brainstorm <laughs> ideas and then she sends me she sends me the pictures. And I love that like I might have put clues in the song about what might appear in the video but then she sort of takes that and does her own interpretation so it's a really beautiful partnership and then also you worked with original artist Elise yes. De Silva she gave you some original Sweet. art yeah so uh this video and song is actually from an album from a couple of years ago and Elise and I worked together and she made all of these beautiful original watercolors and we put one picture each for every song in a digital songbook so yeah, the neat thing is these videos now, lots of the backgrounds, like the tree, some of the trees, some of the like little icons, there's a few rainbows, and there's a few sort of recurring motifs that are original scans of artwork from the songbook. Um, so yeah, it's a really beautiful kind of creative mix up, really. Um, I love it. We love the video so much. And we love oh, how the you. penguins are just on their little journey through nature, it's so important to spend time in nature. And I know that you are a big nature girl. So any time is the perfect time for spending more time in nature, according to you, Claudia. And we agree. We agree. And talk a little bit about how walking in nature makes you feel. Well, I think the thing is, and most children agree, obviously there are caveats to this, like tornadoes gigantic snowstorms. There's definitely times when it's great to like hunker in, inside and get out of it. But you know, there's no such thing as bad weather, really. There's only bad clothing. So if you wear the right <laughs> protective equipment, whether that's sun hats for the sunshine or great big snow coats for the snow, um, children, uh, you know, always seem to just calm down and relax. And when my babies were small, if I couldn't get them to rest, or, or go to sleep, we'd go out to the garden and they would look just the sound of the leaves or, you know, just that sort of ambient sound of a few birds or not even noisy stuff. They just somehow settle, you know, like inside yeah. they'd be bouncing off the walls outside. Suddenly it's like all of those wide open spaces and the big sky just somehow kind of like gets them in tune. And so I'm just definitely found that since becoming a mum, um, I just notice it more. I always loved the outdoors, but I noticed the effect it has on kids. Well, and also it's important coming up on the holidays because there are a lot of things that might be happening during the holidays. Lots of noises, lots of gifts, lots of different people maybe in and out of your homes. And so we were thinking of asking the audience a question of yeah, the day. How like can it. we connect with nature during the holidays? And one way might be just going down to the beach if you have that available to you or we are close to a park so we can take walks in the park um maybe if there's snow around you can tromp in the snow but friends totally. maybe you can give us ideas while claudia shares with us her next song maybe you can give us some ideas of how yeah. to connect with nature during the holidays i would love to hear that and definitely like everyone's got their own ideas you know particularly um uh some you know some children or families experience you know children who are neurodivergent or have sort of sensory sensitivities and so i think um that's also a really good thing to be aware of that often you know some kids just find they can like calm and focus when they have a little nature break you know um so this this song is slightly different it's a bit silly yeah um, and it's about you know we we bring nature inside we always get a real tree and uh, but sometimes things can go wrong when uh, <laughs> you've got a kitten in the house and so this song is actually based on a funny story that a friend um experienced uh and i was inspired by some very funny posts she put on facebook last year <laughs> that uh you know uh, it really demanded a song it was super funny and there's a few details that are just embellishments for the story you know because every every good story needs a few uh, a, a bit of imagination as well as truth. <laughs> Take it away, Claudia. Thanks. Okay. There's a 
This Christmas has got cuckoo, there's a cat in the Christmas tree. Someone left the cake in the oven till half past three. Santa's late with the roller skates I asked for in my letter. The elves have gone on strike because their pay could be much better. Ooh, 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 ooh. Young. Oh, tree, tree, the Christmas tree, it's really worse for wear. The kitty cat had climbed to the top, got lost somewhere. Please, please tell me this day can still improve. If Christmas says God you do, well, can I go there too? Ah, Join my kitty cat up in the tree. The ornaments look so delightful. All those beads, boxes all around the base for hiding in. After these shenanigans, I think I'll be climbing in. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. This Christmas has gone through through. There's a cat in the Christmas tree. And somewhere left the cake in the oven till half past three. Santa's late with the roll skates I asked for in my letter. The elves have gone on strike because this pay could be much better. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go, the cat in the Christmas tree. <laughs> That's such a great one. I love it. I love the little meow. <laughs> uh, Honestly, everyone, please go like, if you look up images of cats and Christmas trees, there are some great lols to be found. <laughs> we don't have any cats in our houses. We both have dogs, right, Julia? But hopefully we never have a dog in the Christmas tree because I think that might be a disaster, right? I actually think when we... My dog. Yeah. Uh, well, we only had a small dog, but when she was a puppy, Sparkles, I seem to recall we even got the old playpen from when the kids were babies. And I think we we had the tree in the playpen. <laughs> Just That's a great idea. Oh, my gosh. It looked quite ridiculous. Well, Penny, Penny is old enough now that she doesn't pay too much attention to the tree. And, you know, this is usually her MO. She's she's a lot of times just napping, especially when we trim the tree, which we've waited to do a little bit longer this year until um, Emma comes home, right? Oh, nice. Yeah, our, it's nice our to oldest, listen to yeah. do Old, together second as a oldest. family. Yes, yes, it is. She's coming. Yeah, she's coming soon. So it's friends exciting. at home, maybe you can tell us some ways we can connect with nature during the holidays. One way would be to bring nature inside the house. If you do celebrate Christmas, you can bring in a tree. There's so many different holidays that friends celebrate. I know that yeah. Hanukkah is coming up very soon. And Kwanzaa is coming up right after Christmas on the 26th. And so lots of different holidays to be celebrating this season. Um, yeah. Claudia, thank you so much for being back on the show. We're going to, we're so excited to debut your video, Happy Place, in just a few minutes. Friends thank at home, you. please go find Claudia Gunn and on her website, claudiagunn.com. You can see her music, Yay. all of the things she's working on. Tell oh, us some fun things. I should, also, I, should I, um, I wasn't going to kind of plug it today because I'm really, you know, we're talking Christmas, um, but you will see on my website, uh, just on Friday, I put a new album out. So there's a few new fun things to find all of our animals. So yeah, a little bit of nature, uh, more of the like, kind. Nice. <laughs> we like those. We like bears. We like the ones that roar too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for having me. I love Thank getting you, to chat with you both. Yes, we do too. And I can't wait to have you back on the show in the new year with some new music too that you're working on. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> happy Merry holidays. Christmas and Thank happy holidays. Thank you. Bye, Claudia. <laughs> Yay. That was a fun song. I have never, I've never experienced a cat in the Christmas tree. Have you? Yeah, I've seen cats in the bushes too. And I've seen a cat in the normal tree. And I've seen a cat in a normal tree. We see cats, we see squirrels in the normal tree. Oh yeah, we see a lot. <laughs> and let's put our question of the day on there again and maybe friends can help us with this. How can you can how can we connect with nature during the holidays? What do you think? What's a what's an idea of something we could do when everyone's home for the holidays that's out in nature? What do you think, Jules? Hmm, she's no thinking. 
snowball fight if we do get some snow oh i see my friend sarah is here hi sarah from wild pickle press she says hi claudia and susie yay i love to make little ornaments of pine cones and bird seed for our feathery friends that's a great thing to do oh we have something in from lisa and sophia dinner idea for you <laughs> Last Wednesday, we went grocery shopping with Lisa and Sophia while they were in the store, and they created a yummy pot of food, sautéed onion, mushrooms, added tomatoes, curry soy sauce. Ooh, this looks like a delicious <laughs> recipe. And they added coconut milk and fresh spinach, which I love. Serve over rice with cashews on top. Oh, my gosh. And then they're making chili tomorrow. Thank you for the suggestion. That was a great Great. suggestion. All right, and we have our friend Arnold saying, remember our bird and squirrel friends and share our Christmas goodies with them. Yes, you know what we can do for our squirrel friends? We can take a pine cone and we can put cover it with peanut butter and put some nuts, nuts in there. And that's also for the birds too. The birds can eat that if we put some bird seeds around there too. Yay. All right, thank you. Thank you, friends, for helping answer that question. All right, Julia, I think we're going to do um, – the music video that you have been waiting to see. And this beautiful video, Happy Place by Claudia Robin Gunn, is debuting today right here on Sing With Susie. So after this, you'll be able to see it on YouTube. But for right now, you can only see it here on Sing With Susie. So with a little help, let's just make sure that I have it in the right configuration here. Let's give it a try. This is Happy Place by Claudia Robin Gunn. Are you busy? Are you free? Are you happy as you feel? Do you want to sing along with a happy little song? This is our happy place. Hands in the soil, getting muddy place. Picking up sticks in the sunshine place. And this is our happy place. We got a bumble song. And our sun has to Here in our garden green Under a sky of blue And if you have five minutes Can you lend a hand? We're trying to create A castle in the sand With a moat and a drawbridge And a driftwood guard To keep the sea from the gates here in our happy place, toes in the water, our splashy place, picking up shells in the sunshine place. This is our happy place. We got a board shorts on, board shorts on, and our sun hats too. Sun hats too. This is our beach of dreams, beach of dreams, under a sky of blue. Follow along, come climbing up. We'll never, never stop until we reach the top. And we can find the hut, make a cozy fire to keep us warm all night. Here in our happy place, quiet and free on a mountain place, up in the air and a world away. This is our happy place. We got our backpacks on, backpacks on, and our sun hats too. Here in our mountain range, our mountain range, under a sky of blue, sky of blue. Please be quiet and listen well. Can you hear the sound of the chlorophyll? Well, that's just silly, it don't make sound. Let's just sit down here in our happy place. Under the trees in a shady place. Out in the woods and a world away. This is our happy place. We got a big, big rug. And our sun hats too. This is our 
forest to leave, forest to leave, and the sky is blue. This is our happy place. We love to share with you. Happy Place by Claudia Robin Gunn. I love that video. Did you notice what the ants were doing, Julia? What did they do? <laughs> they stole the food. <laughs> they were stealing all the food, like cake. How did they steal those big, <laughs> the big cake? <laughs> Aw, thank you, Claudia, for sharing that be beautiful video with us and, and debuting it on Sing With Susie. I told Julia I love that song. It makes me feel very happy. And apparently it makes... Penny very happy too. She's very happy and resting in the back. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, friends, for tuning in today. I had some more comments about ways we can connect with nature during the holidays. And Lisa and Sophia said they love making peanut butter pine cones. Everyone loves watching the birds enjoy them. Taylor says that he's going to the beach with his girlfriend, Kimmy, and that Julia, you are his friend. So that's true. You can still be, you can be friends. <laughs> Thank you, friends, for um, tuning in today. We have some fun things happening this week that I wanted to tell you all about. First of all, we want to give a shout out to our sponsors this week, Teaching Beyond the Square, helping children think outside of the box. And on Wednesday's show, they're going to be supporting Blake's Museum, which is a six-year-old friend of ours, Blake, who's going to be taking us on a guided tour throughout his creative museum. We're also going to be rocking out with the Punk Rock Socks, and they are on the other side of the world with Claudia, but they are originally from Australia, but I think they might be hanging out in New Zealand this week, so they're going to be on the show with us too. So we're definitely traveling all around the world this week on Sing With Susie. They have a brand new holiday song. Um, socks for Christmas that we're going to be showing their video on the show on Wednesday. Also, if you are local and you're in town tomorrow, I'm going to be stomp, cla stomping, clapping, and singing for the holidays at the Red Hook Library for their winter festival. That's tomorrow at 4 p.m. And then on Sunday, Julia is going to be joining me for the holiday show at Jalopy. Sneak peek of the hat. And sneak peek of the hat. Exactly right. And that's <laughs> we're going to be having guest musicians Jeff Littman and Maytar Forkash and Julia. And some other kids will be joining us too. And tickets are still available for that show. You can go to Jalopy's website, jalopytheater.org, and you can still get tickets for that. And I think that might be it for today. So thank you again to Claudia Robin Gunn for coming all the way from New Zealand and sharing her beautiful music with us. And we hope that we'll see everybody again on Wednesday. Let's just make sure we've got all of our comments here. Oh, and Claudia says, thank you so much. Thank you for being on the show. And oh, Taylor is wondering if you're going to be back on Wednesday. And I don't think so because you have something that you do after school on Wednesdays. But today was a very special day that she got to join me today. So <laughs> thank you, friends. On behalf of Julia and Penny and myself, we are wishing you so much love and so much support from our living room in Brooklyn to wherever it is you're watching. And we'll see you all again on Wednesday. Bye, everybody. Bye.